Number eight of our Google Slides scavenger hunt. We're gonna use this slide to create a collage, so a collection of pictures of tilted and overlapping images of our favorite things. We're also gonna give them different color filters and shapes. So the first thing we need to do is obviously think of some of our favorite things. Let me get rid of this animations thing. We don't really need that. Uh, we're gonna go find a, a few things that we really like. We're gonna put those pictures in. Uh, you're probably very tempted to go open up a new window and pull in pictures, but just do it here inside of uh, Google Slides. It's so much easier. Go to Insert, Image, and we can search the web. Or, of course, we can go here to Image, Search the Web. Or if you have things already in your Google Drive. So let me go see. I really like, um, what do I like? Good question. I like computers. Uh, that makes sense. Computers, well, okay, that looks, uh, it's got Char Charizard on it. So I'm going to click in here on insert. Looks good. Charizard, you're looking super cool with all that technology around you. Speaking my language. Uh, let's go get another one. I need maybe two or three so I can show you what I'm looking at. Um, I love playing Magic the Gathering. Uh, that's one of my favorite games. Um, okay, cool. I got a logo. Um, you know what? Let's just take the character logo. That's pretty neat. See all the planeswalkers. Um, some of them are kind of scary looking. Garuk looks kind of weird. All right. We're going to move him, move this over here. And then let's find one more thing that's interesting. Uh, I love music. I'm a huge music fan. One of my favorite bands is Led Zeppelin. Right there. Oh, so many cool things. Let's go find... Um, now let's just, just use their logo, insert. All right, now that one's already kind of got uh, like see-through, like transparent stuff. So here's a couple of things that I like. Now we want to tilt some of these images, so kind of make them go crooked. So let's go to the Led Zeppelin one. You notice that you have all these handles to make it smaller or bigger, but on the top there's a circular object. You can click it, hold it down, and turn. You can kind of put it at angles uh, to play with it. Uh, we got them overlapping. They're on top of each other. Um, we also want to give them different uh, color filters and shapes. So let's go play with this image here. Uh, if you remember, if we hit Command Up, we can change the arrangement to make it fit the way we want it to work. Um, let's go to Crop Image. But instead of hitting the cropping, let's hit the little arrow next to it that says Mask Image. Let's change the shape. And we can make it the exterior any shape we want. We can make it an arrow, a call out symbol, like bam or something. So let's do like a, a pow kind of looking thing, explosion. Okay, it looks cool. You know, I don't like that blue border, so I'm gonna change the border weight, make it thicker. And let's make it uh, like red. And I can even make it like dotted lines. So you can play with your borders a little bit. Uh, let's take this Magic the Gathering and we're gonna change its color. So let's go to Format Options. There's a recolor option. We can try to change it. Let's make it kind of greenish. Um, that looks good. Dark, brooding, and change adjustments. Let's, we want it to be transparent. Let's say we want it to look like it's like over this computer. So let's change our transparency to about like 50%. And we can move it over here and they kind of blend together. Now it doesn't look super good right now, but I, I really care more about you knowing how to change the colors, transparencies, tilting them and giving them a different mask or shape on the outside.